Welcome to Huntington, West Virginia and Jones C. Edwards Stadium, home to the thundering herd of Marshall and one of the toughest places to play in all of college football. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hot. The Nittany Lions will boot it away to start the game. No reason to risk trying to field that one as it skips through the end zone. It'll be a touchback. So the Marshall Thundering Herd will go on offense first to start this game. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. Dropping to pass. Gets it out quickly. They almost got a first down there. Stopped the yard short. It'll be third down. Direct snap. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance. Opening drive. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And he makes the catch inside the 20. That is just a gargantuan play as he has it all the way down to the 12. This Marshall offense putting together a nice drive. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, and how about this uh, offense? You, you think of this offense, you think of throwing the football and top 10 passing in all of college football, but the defense knew something, right? Like, you could tell they were going to come out and run the football. They brought out the goal line, brought in some big boys, and really was ready for the run on that play. Marshall looking for the score on first and goal. They'll run it. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Thundering Herd! I love running backs that have a nose for the goal and understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone, know I get six, and then go celebrate with your boys. point makes it 7 nothing. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two on the run from inside his own five really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19 so the Penn State Nittany Lions offense will go to work for the first time today this is just a great matchup to watch on the outside and who can win downfield in the passing game. Man, this reminds me of 1997, Charles Woodson versus David Boston. Two physical athletes that are going to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe all game long. Yeah, and two alphas, two guys that play the positions where you have to have such confidence, cornerback, wide receiver. Let's see this throwdown. He'll pitch it. And that one will go and reverse the defense all over that pitch on the option. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. They'll try to run for it. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Puts a boot to it. Didn't see a lot of him in that loss last week. Only called on twice. Oh, and now the ball has been knocked free. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field possession than this all game did. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession and what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. 
And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. They're getting this guy lathered up. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He'll pull it on the read. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. They're bringing heat. And they got him for the sack. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. He'll line it up from 34 yards out. Just drives it between the uprights. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. He was hoping for something a little more. Get him on the ground at the 20. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. They'll leave it with him. They'll knock him down after a six-yard gain to the 27. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Yeah, I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? This one's complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Marshall back at it with another first and ten. Smith wants to throw. He lost one down the sideline. He holds it in, and nobody's close. Touchdown, Hurd! And once he got loose, it's over. Have a day. We're in the first quarter, and already he's over 100 yards receiving. This is ridiculous. Obviously, this coaching staff, they made a concerted effort and decision to get this guy involved in the game on offense early. They are doing exactly that. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Hand off to the home back. Slams into the pile. He'll get one to the 17. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Quarterback on the keeper. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Anytime a blitz gets home that fast, I'm going to call it a lot, okay? I'm going to use this one time and time again until they find some answers to how we got that linebacker. What a complete disaster. What a terrible decision to run that far backwards and take the safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field, put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. So after that safety, they'll kick it away from their own 20. Let's see what he can do with it. Return brings it out to 32. Marshall takes over the ball. The thundering herd offense coming out. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all the stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Grab near the marker is Anderson. 
Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. Still running at the 40. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. This Marshall offense putting together a nice drive. They'll give it to him again. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You know, the runner just has to have a little bit more patience. He bounced that thing outside a little too early, and as a result, lost yards. On fourth down, trying to find his man. Makes the catch. It's Anderson. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Wow, and that was just a bang-bang play. On that fourth down, the coverage was tight. QB had his receiver. He knew where he wanted to go with it, but the only way that ball gets completed is if he puts a little extra mustard on it, and he shows you the arm talent on the throw. Line getting set on second down. Smith dropping to pass. He finds his man. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. I tell you what, all this spread offense, man, it's really accentuated receivers in so many different shapes and sizes, but this guy, they're going to... Into the end zone, he goes. Touchdown, Marshall! They want to... Strong and man, are they doing that here this Week 11 performance? You know, this offense knew coming into the season, it was so important for this guy to stay healthy. They needed him week in, week out, because he plays at such a high level, and he's showing it here. That last carry was his 10th rushing touchdown of the season. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Offense getting set for first down. The running back has it. Good blocking, good running pickup of six out to the 30. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. The give out of the gun. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. Pulls it in. It's very air. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Give to the running back. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. He'll do it himself. There to make the tackle, and that's how we'll wrap up this first period. Guys, it is Marshall carrying the lead into the quarter break. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. From the gun, give on the inside. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Looking to throw on second down. Finds his back in the middle. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. Here's the handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After that last loss, it's second and twelve. 
rides to the bat. Made a little something out of that run. He picked up a couple down to the 14. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And they can't quite hook up trying to make a completion in the back corner of the end zone. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. Splits the uprights. Good. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Louisville rolled to victory. And how about that Cardinals quarterback? Remember, this is a program that produced Lamar Jackson. So to over there, that's saying something. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings and the other heads home licking its wounds. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. He leaves it with his back. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give from the gun. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Snagged in the middle, it's Williams. Solid work and execution there. They'll have a first down as they mark it at the 40. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. He lobs one high down the left side. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. Touchdown, thundering. Hold it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside the 10, here he comes. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. He'll keep it himself. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. They'll run this play from the pistol. On second down, just keeps firing. Makes a connection. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle. It's Wade. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Running back searching for a hole. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. The Nittany Lions come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Across the 25, he's got room. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the change. It's at the 22. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Able to move it ahead a couple yards. He gets it down to the 20. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Quickly complete. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll try to run for it. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. So here comes the field goal unit. They've been doing work today. They've already made a couple. Smashes it between the uprights. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Plains and they'll stop him at the 16. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. 
This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now on the same page. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets them up to the 24. A third down try for the offense. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. He ended up losing yardage on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. And as an offense, you've got an unconventional call. You're trying to get your receiver the ball using pre-snap motion, but you've got to do a better job up front blocking. Couldn't get it done, and now it sets up fourth down. And this will fall incomplete, and they'll turn it over on downs. First down here for the offense. Give to the back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. The Nittany Lions have moved it inside the 20. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. He's got his man. Makes the catch and he's brought down. They are in danger of squandering this great field position unless they can convert this third and five. And the throw out to the sideline, good for a few. So here comes the field goal unit once again. They've already kicked three tonight. Between the uprights, it's good. Wait just a second. There is a flag on the play. If this is on the defense, it could be a first down. This could turn out to be a huge penalty. Thought they were going to have to settle for three, and now the offense back on the field with a chance for more. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! A quick strike, just as we expected. Yeah, and quick strikes are easy when you got such great field position. Obviously, when the offense starts in such a good spot, puts the defense in a bad position, and the offense takes advantage. And the extra point is good. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Marshall, 30, and 16. And he's coming out of the end zone. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone. Work out as he stopped at the 13. The offense lining up for a first down play. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Smith wants to throw. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Third and short, they've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. Looking to throw for it. Makes the grab on the left. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. They'll throw it on first down. On target. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. He's looking to throw. Release to the back. Gets it out fast. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. Well, this defense is being challenged, and this secondary in particular. And I know a DB made the tackle there, but we're only in the second quarter, and already this quarterback has over 200 yards passing. He'll just keep slinging it. Lofts one high and deep. Grabs it inside the 10, and he'll haul it in and take it to the end. Touchdown, Hurt! Have a day, young fella. I foresee some social media posts in his future. Not one, not two, but three receiving touchdowns on the day. What a ball game. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. To the air on first down. Coming after him. Finds a tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. The Nittany Lions want to move quickly. Wants to throw on second down. Catch in the middle, it's Reynolds. 
There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Comes out throwing on first down. Makes a grab over the middle. He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. Wants to throw on first down. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires left. Another incompletion on third down. And the Nittany Lions decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Solid punt headed toward the sideline, trying to make it tough to return. Marshall takes over the ball, the thundering herd offense coming out. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took him right to the end zone, Dave. And down he goes back at the three. That is exactly what this defense needed. They have not had a great first half, given up a bunch of touchdowns, but this might get them started. This might get the... Reels it in on the left side. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Just when you think you have this offense penned down, they come up with a play like that. Now they've got it first and 10 from the 35. Hit as he throws. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Smith dropping to pass. Takes a hit as he fires. And the ball is intercepted. After making the interception, ran back to the 18-yard line. Couldn't ask for better field position for this offense. They'll throw it on first down. Makes his connection. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. So as it turns out, a two-play drive results in a field goal. You've got to make the opponent pay for turning the football over. And while this team would have liked to have scored a touchdown off that pick, I think they're pretty happy getting the field goal. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there today in Huntington. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Jones C. Edwards Stadium. Kickoff and kickoff return teams on the field, and we are just about ready to go in the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Just gets it to the 28, pickup of one. The Nittany Lions headed quickly to the line. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Not much there, picks up a couple to the 22. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. It's complete. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. Wide out in motion. Touch pass on the run. He's there to make the stop and they threw it in reverse. Losing yardage on that play. He'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. 
Still on his feet at the 45. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. The execution on that screen pass is one that will go in a coaching clinic. Nice execution on the screen. Allow the rush to come upfield. Now I release, get the ball to the running back. I got my playmaker in space. Nice chunk yardage play right there by the offense. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. This has the makings of a good drive. The seventh play brings up a third and four. Quickly out to the tight end. Just what they'd hoped for on third down as they've got a first at the 32. The Nittany Lions come to the line with a new set of downs. Fires to the big fella. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. On second down, looking to throw. Fires to the middle. He's got it. Makes the grab. Defense right there, and they are set up at the 14. The Nittany Lions are threatening in the red zone. Handoff from the gun. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Penn State! Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. South Alabama is trailing right now, but I'm not ready to say this team rallied around that coach. It really has been something to see. They're trailing by 11 to Arkansas State. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling. They're out to the 35. Three tight ends in the formation on first and 10. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Tackled there by the defense. Well, the defense wasn't expecting that. They had a lot of guys back into coverage. That was second and a lot of yards to go, and they got caught off guard. Not enough guys in the box to control that running back. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. Well, as a defense, you know this is going to be a challenge every time you face this offense. They're one of the 25 best in the nation at getting first downs because they can pick them up in a variety of ways, including running the football. You have got to be physical when facing off against this offense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speedster in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for a loss. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. He hurls one deep down the left side. Touchdown, Marshall! Take it in for six more points. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. Got to find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. The inside handoff. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He wants to throw. Quick strike complete. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate, easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here. And this 
this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. Wide open downfield. He's got enough to move the chains and they'll spot it at the 47. The Nittany Lions want to crank the tempo. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting the first They stop him almost immediately. Short game there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. The play action fake. Just a short pass to the tight end. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Looking to move it through the air. Got it in the middle, it's Wade. My job as offensive coordinator is to find my guys, find my playmakers, find my guys that can win one-on-one, -on -one and they get an opportunity, and that I can get them the ball that can make something happen. He's one of those guys, that's why I'm gonna to continue to force him. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. And the Nittany Lions get enough to move the chains. Snap's going to come from the 23 on first and 10. He's going to pass. Got his man quickly. They get him down after he makes the catch. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. From the gun, the running back has it. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. And that pass is intercepted. Taking it the other way. And he is brought down, but what a way to finish this quarter with the pick. Guys, it is Marshall carrying the lead into the quarter break. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Working the middle. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Could this guy be the next receiver to bring home a Heisman Trophy? He's got everything you look for in a game changer at the receiver position. He's off to a great start in this one. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that was a big-time stop defensively. Being physical, creating a negative play on that last run. Now you're setting up third down. This is the critical time. You've got to find a way to get off the field. You're trailing late in the game. Give it back to your offense to go see if they can score. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football maybe, take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. Bringing it back. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Nancy Lions. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. And this defense has had a rough day, but how about this play? Breaking on the football, making the pick, taking it to the house, maybe build some momentum for some future games. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running. He found as he stopped at the 23. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. 
Nah, it, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. you got to go out, not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 20. Fires one high and deep. And he makes the catch inside the 25. Just making a huge play, and he sets him up all the way down at the 14. Well, I know everyone expected this guy to put up big numbers, but I don't know if anyone thought he could go for over 2,000 receiving yards on the year, but he did with that last catch. Wow. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. And that's really nice offensively because you're in the red zone. You do have an opportunity to add to your lead here, but you're staying in bounds. I think the clock right now is the most important thing. How can we keep this thing ticking away? By going down in bounds, you're doing exactly that. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. He has 89 yards rushing, and this guy's just having a tremendous season, leading the country in rushing. And if they can find the end zone here, that might be all she wrote. First and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, thundering her. That ought to be enough to make this lead insurmountable, and with it, they'll be a perfect 10-0. With that last touchdown, they remain undefeated. What can you say about this offense? One of the most explosive in the entire nation, and they're coming in, I think, every week with the mindset that we're just going to outscore everybody. We are okay going into a track meet, and that's really what we saw in this game today. But opponents just cannot keep pace with them and all of the athletes they have on the offensive side of the ball. He's got his man, and he's down after the short completion. He did not make it to the first down marker. He's looking for a man on second down, and it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Facing a third down and short from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. He's taking a deep shot. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. They keep attacking through the air. Going downfield for the big play. It's complete. A huge pickup. Well, this defense is trying to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up, trying to confuse the QB. It's not working. That last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. The offense couldn't get the snap off in time, and it'll cost them. After the five-yard step off, first and 15 for this offense. The snap sets up the throw. And the defense makes a play. They get the quarterback down at the 26. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Looking to the big tight end. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Fires to the big fella. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. The offense uses a timeout, 20 ticks remaining. 
Fourth down, and they've got to get it to the next time zone, but the offense is going to stay on the field on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He caught it! Desperately wanted to convert on fourth down, but couldn't do it. They're backed up, first and ten from inside their own five. Let's see if they can create some space. To the ground with the back. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. Here comes the offense on second down. Smith wants to throw. Blast it as he lets it go. When we get to the offseason and they start having coaching clinics, they're going to roll this game tape back to show both offense. Dial it up and let it run. I and mean, that's essentially what we saw in this game. It didn't matter what either offensive coordinator was calling. Everything seemed to work through throwing the football in the intermediate passing game, the RPOs, the run game, David. This was just clinical offensive football. And offenses that evolve so much, they can do so many different things, and they know how to use their playmakers, get speed and space, make those big plays. So that's why offenses are ahead of defenses in this game. It was no different. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.